everybody, I'm back with another episode of Cardboard Acquisitions. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff here that I picked up recently I wanted to go over and show everyone. So let's start here. I got a time warp. Um, condition is, you know, it's a little worn, but it's nice to have one, a signed one from Pete Venters, um, original too. Uh, nothing fancy. I might play in Commander or something or just keep it for someone who needs it or wants it in the future. But that's a good pickup. Here we got a Soul Ring. Uh, what is it? Commander 16, or I forget exactly. What does that say? 18, I'm sorry. Uh, Mike Bierk, another good artist. Um, this one's signed as well. Just a, you know, a little thing somebody had for a couple bucks. Figured I'd pick it up. Um, I don't see a lot of these. I mean, he does sign cards, but only for through one agent. And it's, it's pretty slow turnaround, and it's I don't think it's constant. Um, but it's nice to pick that up and have that for... You know, when if I may need it in the future. And here we got a Jace Balaren. Um, the guy that was selling, like he had a couple. He had in our original Lorwyn one, and then he had the dual deck one. And uh, I actually don't like this artwork as much as the original Lorwyn artwork. But I've never owned one of these um, ever. And I kind of just kind of wanted it. Um, it. It was only a couple dollars. I think it was like five bucks and then a dollar for the, you know, stamped envelope shipping um but it's in it's in good shape uh i was going to consider picking both up but i just you know i don't if i'm going to spend money on this stuff I, I don't need more than one so now i have a signed one and it's pretty cool so anyway that's pretty pretty awesome to have here we got a mystical tutor um Lindsay, look i've never actually come in contact with with uh with this artist um never really seen the signature either uh, people did confirm it and showed other examples of this signature and it's it's a legit signature um i don't even know if she signs through anyone in particular or if she has agents or doesn't or what the deal is but um i never really owned a mystical tutor ever plus this one was signed so i couldn't i couldn't say no and the the condition is seems fine so it's very playable and it's a great card for commander reasons and stuff like that so I might uh, just hang on to that. We'll see. I don't even know if it's legal in Commander. I'm assuming it is, but um, I'll have to look, look into that. But And here I got uh, two copies of Stain the Mine. These were actually from uh, through an agent, a signing service. I had sent these out to get signed by Jason Rainville. Um, I had sent cards to him in the past, but I think he prefers to not have like one-on-one -on -one personal mailings between like one person and him. He'd rather just do the uh, group signings through the agent. So I sent these that way, got these signed. I was going to consider playing these in my uh, Green Black Elf Modern sideboard, but I just don't think the meta calls for it now by the time I got these back. But they're nice to have, really cool artwork. Uh, I think the card's pretty powerful in the right situation and in the right deck. So I'll keep them, never, never know, I might need them in the future. So here I got two copies of Compulsive Research. No particular reason, really. The guy just had them. They were like a dollar a piece, and they're signed by Sarah Winters. So... Figured I'd pick them up. Maybe I could play it in Commander. Just another draw spell. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, but nice to have. Here I got two copies of Sphinx's Revelation. One with a older signature, one with a newer signature. Fun fact, I don't actually know which one is the old and which one is the new signature. So that'll be fun. I'll have to ask some of the guys in the signing groups on Facebook if they know. Um, I've never really had anything signed by him before. So... But they are nice. I really needed one for Commander. So I have two options now, both for original printings. Um, always love this card. This card and like Supreme Verdict and stuff. Just that, that era of magic is, uh, I love it. Here we got cards I sent to somebody uh, in Barcelona. Uh, Chris Rollis was just at GP Barcelona. Sorry, Magic Fest Barcelona. And a gentleman in one of the Facebook groups who lives near there and was going to the event let me send the cards so that i could get them signed um i was going to play one or two of these in legacy and then i was going to put one in commander so i had this pre-release one that i that i got it's pretty nice i like it a lot i love the, the for some reason this particular i don't think it's any different than any other foiling but it just really really stands out and i really like it i usually don't go for foils but I was a sucker for this one, so. Then I had a Japanese one that I got off somebody. Um, not the alternate art, of course, just the original artwork, but 
but yeah, the card's really good. I have a lot of friends trying to convince me um, to play it in Legacy. In fact, I'm going to have somebody over here in a few days to film some Legacy videos with who's been really a big advocate saying how good this card is in Miracles uh, against so many of the decks in the format. So I'm definitely going to consider playing one or two of these in Legacy. So, And then, of course, I couldn't say no to these as well. The Buy a Box promo Fluster Storms. I got a play set of these signed as well. I picked these up dirt cheap. I got two of them for buying boxes for my local store, and I picked up two more for like, I think they were like eight bucks a piece, seven something a piece maybe at most. Um, and then I sent them to get signed as well. I couldn't, I couldn't, could not do it. I mean, I'm addicted to this, to this cardboard crack. So, but it's a great card to have. I know they, they legalized it in modern with this printing. I don't think really anyone's playing it, but um, I do have Erica Yang ones for Legacy already. But it was just nice to have another playset. Maybe in the future, somebody else might need, you know, someone else who becomes addicted to the signed card game might want them. I don't know. Um, but just, just to have them. And the artwork's really cool. I might even play them over Erica Yang's. I don't know if it's better. But maybe it's better. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm Most people don't even care about the artwork or the, you know, they just play the game. They just play the game. But I really love these artists and I love the artwork they do. I love what they can, what they do to contribute not only to to the game but just to creativity in general and I've, I've met a lot of these artists and talked to a lot of them and have them on facebook meet them at events and you know they're very they love what they do and it's there's something about it, it just it just sticks with me you know my, my girl also is an artist so anyway I don't, i'm sorry i'm kind of rambling but i really love picking this stuff up the signatures i love collecting them the cards in general love getting them um that's about it for the video guys i really appreciate you watching i appreciate you taking the time to share an interest in what i've been doing and what i've acquired so i uh, look forward to more videos like i said i plan on doing this is being filmed and published on tuesday night um, i plan on putting up some legacy content either thursday night or friday morning unless any emergencies or plans change or whatever but i'll keep everyone clued in so i really appreciate you guys you take care of yourselves and have a nice day